Alright, so first we'll go over explaining how I redid my harness and why I am going to be putting these uh, six way weather pack connectors on here. I think there's like seven wires or something that go through there. Um, so we're going to cut it like here. Maybe like, maybe like right here or something. So basically the whole reason why I'm doing this is because the I'm going to be keeping this inside the engine bay. I'm going to be keeping the ECM in the engine bay. And then so that way if, when I want to drop the cradle I don't have to disconnect my wiring harness. All I have to do is just, uh, just basically pull the ECM out of its storage container or whatever I decide to do. But basically I'll just have to disconnect these little bit of wires that go into the inside which control like oh well, I got like my OBD2 that'll be disconnected at this point and then you got like just things I need power like my coil pack uh, O2 sensors and a couple of ignition wires and uh, power for the ECM basically just things that need to be ran into the vehicle um, basically what I ended up doing was I redid the whole wiring harness I used this uh, braided split loom uh, this stuff's really nice I, I like it a lot better over the stuff and then I used uh, the, what, I don't even remember what this stuff is it's like fancy uh, harness tape it's basically just cloth this stuff is way better than uh, electrical tape in my opinion um, and then like to get rid of slack I had a lot of extra slack here uh, I'll probably try and put some photos in of that. This is what I started with. This one I have all the wire, extra wire pulled through. This is a close up of the wires pulled through. Everything on the right gets cut off and new pins put on. That's what it looks like after. another angle of how clean the wires look now after having the extra wire cut off and repinned. This shows the harness getting rerouted. It's got the harness tape on it. It's another one with all the harness tape on the whole harness. This one has the split loom, braided, braided split loom on it. And this is just the finished product that I ended up with of what it'll look like. If you got the right, as long as you got the right tool for that job, like these, I think they'll work fine, even though they're, they're on the cheaper end, but I, I think they're good. They work awesome. So. As you'll see, because I'm going to end up using them again for these weather pack connectors, because these are basically like they're waterproof and all that stuff. They're really nice. So, well, we'll find out how nice they are. I've actually never really used them, so I think they're going to be nice because they're going to be basically like uh, OEM kind of look. Plus, they're weatherproof and all that stuff. They're nice. So, all right, let's just hop into it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wow, there's ten wires there. I say three sixteenths. Alright, so they 
just say to put this on first. Like so. And if you have like the fancy crimpers, from what I've seen, they crimp both at the same time. So this guy goes on there like that. The only thing I don't like about these is they don't say which size is which. I know it came with the thing, or it said on the thing, there's like a piece of cardboard that came with it. Is the which is which size? Um, I'm pretty sure it was four. Pretty sure I remember it was four. And we use the five for that other one. We'll try it here. Hopefully it's right. So yeah, it'll sit in there like that. And just slide this in. And this wire might be on the upper edge of how big it be going. So we'll have to clean the way. There. Okay, once it's in there, crimp. That's good in there. And you can see that. So one's crimped. Now we just gotta crimp this next one right here. Slides in there, like so, I guess. And then that's where you use, you got to use this ground one, number five. And that one, put that in there. Put that in there a little bit, I guess. crimping and just like that it's done and then I end up just sliding it in I'm gonna wait I'm gonna do all of these like this and then uh, then we'll put them in but uh, I'll finish these up here Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm pairing these guys up to their corresponding colors. And then you got to be careful, as I figured out, there is a, a boy and a girl, you know. I don't need to explain that too much. Um, but yeah, so these ones, this one, this plug will have the, the boys, and this plug will have the girls. So, so on this side, I need to put this plug so these will plug into each other so I gotta put make sure that I'm putting the correct plugs on these ones so I'm gonna go ahead strip do this one and then all right so This is the connector I need. And it clips like so. So I need to make sure that I put the right colors so they match up on each side. So first one is going to be the big black wire. And second will be 
the green. And then we got the brown. And then we got the white. Okay. And just like that. And then they should just slide into each other. Like so. And that should be it. And you're done. And if all your wires are the same, then it should be done. And you just need to disconnect. Like that. Yeah. It's a nice tight, tight fit, that's for sure. So that's good. I don't really see it. Second time is easier to it. So that's good. But, all right, so next we're gonna just go ahead and knock out this one. So that way we got them both done. All right, be back. And actually, hold on. I'm gonna do like we're gonna do one more, and this is actually my first time ever doing these, so I'll show you what I've learned so far. Um, you know, the little tips, tricks, if so be. Um, I, don't know, I just kind of fucked that one up, but I find it easier if you put this on before you strip it. And you don't really have to worry about the strands getting messed up. And then, uh, so these, we're going to need to have these style for this plug. We're going to need these style. Alright, so then, what I like to do, so like, you got to remember it's going to be like this. And you're going to want to be able to see where it is lining up on here. So, and because we're using this one, so you're gonna want it like, so I'm right-handed, so I prefer to use my right hand. All right. So then I like to line it up, get it lined up in there. Um, this curved, the curved side is always gonna be on the underside of it. And then you want like all those things that get folded over on the side that has like two circles on there because that's what's doing your the crimp down on the wire. All right, and then you just set it in there and then give it a good crimping. All right, and make sure it's on there. It's on there real good. All right, and then so for like these, when you have like this cheap tool, it doesn't do both at the same time. So inside this, I like spin it, and then it kind of goes right in. Um, and then I've been like pinching the sides, just makes it easier for getting the tool on. And then this also has a smaller side and a bigger side. So the little side, that little circle, goes on the bottom. Goes on the bottom. And then just give it a crimping. And then that one's done. Alright, I just figured I wanted to go over that again one more time. Now that I've kind of done a couple. Alright, let's finish this up. And then we'll wrap it up. We literally just talked about this and I already freaking forgot again. But yeah, it's a lot easier to put the grommet on with them not cut. We're not all perfect. Well, you can't make it through without fucking up once, I guess. It helps if you put the grommet in. So, this guy will clip in like so. So, we need to have green first. And we have 
two blues here. The one is like a really dark or a darker blue, and then the other is a little bit lighter. And it looks like the lighter one is the first one. That one's next. Got red. And then we got this tan. And we got the dark blue. disconnects for the stuff that goes into the car all right awesome that'll probably do for this video um so these are uh there you go maybe that should be a part number to get there if i remember i'll throw it in the description i think it's only like 20 bucks off the amazon um and then there's like if you want like they got one pin two pin three pin four pin five pin six pin um, I think six is the highest because I was trying to get like a ten because that would have been perfect, but so I could just find sixes. So I did the six way, and this is a sixteen to fourteen gauge. All right, and then uh, you know wire strippers and the fancy thing. But that'll be it for this one. If you liked it, comment, like, subscribe, share if you want. All right, see you in the next one.